Now come on, you don't think I'm gonna use my actual CDs for this project, do you? No. We'll use these instead. The Grinch. I don't watch DVDs much anymore. Anyway, all right, we're not using my DVDs or my CDs, but we will be using these. Hey, check these out, folks. Check these out. Looking glorious. So these are just blank DVDs, uh, and I thought that we would try to make something funkadelic with all of these today. Look at this. I mean, they do look pretty cool, and these are pretty cheap on the Amazon or eBay. Loads of them, hey? Oh! Oh yes. I see something crazy happening today. Don't you? Remember this? <laughs> so this was our mold that we made uh, for our Lego guitar. Now, if you haven't seen that project yet, please check out here, here. No, don't do that. Because then that'll take you away from this video. We don't want to do that just yet. I'll leave a link below for that one if you didn't see it. Anyway, I digress. So what we've got to try and do, this is going to be a little bit more tricky. Now, <laughs> I don't want to go and just chuck in the DVDs like that because that's kind of not this kind of sort of thing that I'm going with. Know what I'm saying? You don't know what I'm saying yet, but you will do. So what I've got to try and do is I've got to try and figure out, I've got to put a bass in here. No, that's not a bass guitar. But it's got to be a skinny bass and it's got to be thinner around the edges as well because I need to allow some room to put me dividers. Know what I'm saying? Now, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. Also, it's really important if you ring my bell. It's up here, top right hand side of your YouTube channel. That way, you'll know every time I put a video out. Happy days. <laughs> Never gets old, that. What? Well, I'm going to be using entropy resins fast hardener for this bad boy because we just need to form a little bit of a base. Right, so I have put a couple of pours into this. I've left the first one overnight because I used a fast hardener. Um, I've just done another fast. Probably should have used slow, actually, to be fair. <laughs> um, but there we go, I've done another one. I might actually need, need a bit more because I think I need to get this resin just slightly over the top of this and it's not quite there yet. So I might have to do this in three goes. <laughs> we'll get there. Right, there we go. So that's it. It <laughs> took a few pours. We'll let that cure, and then we'll pop this little sucker out of this mold. Now I'm excited to tell you that this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Check this out. I feel like it's a great time to rank Raid's best Halloween champions. Now they've got loads, but check these out. Bracus the Shifter. He's a legendary champ from the Skinwalkers faction. I chose this one because I think he just looks absolutely insane. Little Miss Annie. <laughs> I mean, come on. Who wouldn't want her in your champions? She's another legendary champ and from the Undead Hordes faction. And Harvest Jack. I mean, this is another amazing champ from the Undead Hordes faction. I mean, look at him. Now, if I'm gonna go for a favorite, I'm gonna have to go with Harvest Jack. 
I mean, come on. Then Little Miss Annie. Then Baracus the Shifter. Now, what I love about Raid is, is you can really get stuck into this game. But if you like challenging games and challenging your mates, this is perfect for you. Now, come here. If you want a tip, listen up. If you're looking for the best weekly rewards, join a clan and fight a clan boss. Plus, the fastest way to level up your champions is through farming the champion. You grind XP and get loads of silver and a few artifacts as well. So, what's new in Raid? Well, this month, Ray's got a non-stop schedule of special events and activities, including an absolutely jam-packed Halloween lineup. Now, we're talking big, huge tournaments against other players, special fragment events to get some brand new legendary champions, including one very spooky Halloween champion. Now, Ray's bigger and busier and there are some giant updates coming very soon. So there's really never been a better time to get started. Now if you want a huge head start in Raid, all you gotta do is click the link in my description. Or you can scan my QR code and you'll get one epic chin aura, 200 silver, one XP boost, one energy refill, and one a No all this treasure will be waiting for you here these rewards are only available for the next 30 days and they're only for new players. Check out my links in the description and I'll see you in there. Ha <laughs> ha! She is ready for the next stage. Right folks, so the next procedure, now I've managed to kind of build our base just full of kind of like resin kind of like resin it is resin <laughs> so what I need to do is get this out of this mold <laughs> hey Bob is your uncle right now here comes a tricky part folks what I've got to try and do is I've made this thin so that's what we need to do uh, because I need to put this back in the mold later but i need to trim off an edge all the way around here somehow not too sure how yet but i don't know i'll work it out Right folks, there we go. Just used my hand to sort of guide myself around and do a kind of a, a rough edge all the way around. It doesn't have to be perfect, which you'll see why in a minute, but I just need to take a little shimmy off the edge of this. Now I've got to try and work out how to cut it. <laughs>
Right, so the guitar bass. It's not a bass. Blank is sanded. Now it doesn't need to be a perfect sanding, just enough to make it smooth. <laughs> Looks pretty cool like that actually, doesn't it? Kinda. Now onto the next steps. <laughs> Ooh. Now, I got this little idea of this project from the positive couple. These guys are amazing. I would definitely check them out. <laughs> They've made a really cool DVD project as well. So I'll leave a link below for that one. Now I've got a mixed bag here. These are DVDs and these are actually CDs. See the difference in colour? And I think we're going to mix these up because I reckon they will look really funky mixed in. <laughs> look at this. Oh, what a beauty. <laughs> now I'm just debating. I've just laid all these out and I'm just debating the fact that the CDs are not cutting as nice as the DVDs. So just sort of laying it out to kind of look. So when you cut the DVD, you're kind of left with a little bit of a shimmer, which looks quite cool. And the edges aren't too bad. That one's not really a good example. Um, like the edges, that one's not a good example either. <laughs> I'll clean up the edges. Um, there we go. So the edges are all right. Look at that. That is absolutely unbelievable. So, but when you look at the, the CDs, so look at the CD. So the CDs tend to cut like with a bit more kind of jagged, a bit more, a bit more rough, um, like that, see? I don't really want that in the project, really. Although it does look quite cool, when you look at it like that, that just looks insane. Absolutely insane. I am absolutely loving that. That is gonna look so cool. Um, so I don't know really, I don't know whether to just, just do the DVDs um, because look, look, they're just a bit, see that, it's a bit scruffy. But the, 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 the DVDs, they don't, they got this little shimmer in. When you cut it, it creates this, this sort of warpiness in it. There, look, you can just see. But it doesn't, the edges cut kind of, come on, zoom in, zoom in. Focus, focus. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Am I boring you? All right, let's get on. I'll make a decision halfway through. This is looking groovy, baby. Right, this is how far <laughs> I've got. It's been like about three hours. It's taken me absolutely ages. Uh, but it's looking pretty cool. Now, obviously there's a lot of finger uh, prints all over this, but I'm, I'm pretty confident that when I pour the final resin on this, which I obviously need to do, you won't see the finger prints. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping, anyway, I really am hoping because it's just resin fingerprints. So I'm hoping that, you know, 
you're not going to see it. Now, obviously, I should be wearing gloves when I'm using this, but it's really fiddly, and I don't want to get any of the black gloves sort of stuck all over it and make marks and stuff. So it's not great, not a good example. Don't use your fingers. Well, I'm not using the fingers. I mean, I'm you know, do you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm fit. It's fiddly you know, to try and not get the resin on your hands. And I don't really want to wear gloves because it sticks to everything. So anyway, I'll stop waffling. Uh, so there we go, that's what we've got so far. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the rest of this all the way up there, and then I'll come back to you. <laughs> Cause I'm sure you don't want to see me put these DVD bits all over this guitar. Cause it's gonna take hours, days, probably weeks. Two thousand years later. Okay, folks. Now, <laughs> this is as far as I've got. It's looking pretty cool. However, um, what I decided to do initially was use super glue to st stick these down, but that was kind of making a bit of a mess. So I decided to use resin, um, and that's done a really good job. But unfortunately, it's got you know a few finger marks all over it, which. I'm kind of was thinking that, you know, you, you weren't really going to see those once I put the final coat of resin in, which you won't see a lot of, but there are going to be some markings, I think, where there are little bits of, I don't know, maybe just blobs of rubbish that I've got on top of the, the DVDs. But um, so <laughs> I've got another plan and unfortunately I'm going to have to take this off of it and start again. I don't want to do all this again, but I've got to. Otherwise it's going to look rubbish. And I want it to look really cool. You know what I'm saying? Right, let's start again, shall we? Right, so, <laughs> plan B. So plan B is this. So what I'm gonna try and do, that didn't really work out for me really. I didn't really like the, the look of how that was, uh, that was coming out. So what I've got is I've got some double-sided um, paperage. Um, so I reckon, we peel off this, there we go, we've got a little bit of double-sided clear. Um, there we go, look at that. Boom. So we're going to stick this all over it and then stick the CDs, DVDs to that. <laughs> We have another issue now uh, where the CDs, the DVDs are made up of like two layers. So you've got like this kind of top layer um, sat underneath the actual, the CD layer. And, and what's happening is, is that obviously when I'm cutting them too small and every now and again, they're just sort of like popping off. So we're left. <laughs> So we're left with kind of just that bit. I mean, that's the coolest bit anyway. That's the bit that we want. Um, but you can see the difference slightly there. So this, these two here haven't got the layer on top and these ones have. So you can just... But I think it would be all right without that layer, I think. It might even look a bit better. Um, so I'm going to end up taking these off because if you look, the actual... There you go, look. See, two layers. So we kind of don't really need that layer, I suppose. I mean, it's just gonna fall off anyway. So there we go, more problems. <laughs>
take it ages. But, <laughs> look at the funk in that. <laughs> this may be taking a while, but it's looking pretty crazy. Magnum. Oh, I finally finished one side. <laughs> this, it, come on. This is looking pretty insane, right? Right? Just look at the, <laughs> the things, the camera's flicking because there's just so much kind of cool and funkiness coming out of it. <laughs> that does look cool. I mean, it's taken me absolutely ages, like absolutely ages just to do this. <laughs> I'm definitely not doing another one of these. <laughs> um, oh, it's, I'm so chuffed with it so far. So um, obviously now what we've got to do is we've got to do the edges. We've got to turn it over and do that as well. So I'll do that. What I'll do is I'll do that on a time lapse so it's not so, <laughs> so it doesn't take absolutely ages. But look at this, folks. I mean, when we start putting the resin in this, I'm so kind of curious now as to what and how this is gonna look when we dunk this back in resin. Because obviously resin has an effect on, you know, everything that it touches. I'm really hoping that this is gonna kind of still look as cool as it does now. Um, because we can't obviously leave it like this. It has to be sealed in resin. Um, but obviously I've made this blank smaller. So when we put it back in the other blank, uh, it will be bigger. <laughs> right, I'm going to have a break and then I'm going to get right back on it. It's just mesmerizing. Right, now on to the edge edges. Funky, I hear you say. <laughs> I hadn't appreciated actually how long this took me. <laughs> but the intricacy of actually laying all these DVDs into this was just insane. So, oh man, I, I really can't stop looking at it. Look. <laughs> so what I've got to try and do now it's a bit dusty. Dust! Uh, so I'm gonna have to try and clean off uh, the, the, the DVDs before we put it back into the mold to pour more resin to seal these puppies in. Right, now before we move on to the next stage, we need to clean up all of this mess. That'll do. Right, I think that that is in there as far as I can get it. I think actually, because obviously what we did is we put a base in the bottom there, so it's already got its face 
as such to, to the guitar uh, so we don't have to worry about the bottom piece because the resin's already there. So we just got to cover in the side and the top. Now I think the side's fine because we've got quite a bit of gap around the sides and that's not a problem because we chopped that out. Um, but I'm wondering whether or not I put too much resin in the bottom, which has basically now made it too thick, which has now given me not enough room up here, I don't think. But I could shape that. So what I'm gonna probably do is I'm gonna to have to put a bead of silicone, no, not silicone, but um, glue around here, because I think I'm gonna to have to come up. I'm gonna to need to at least come up to here with the resin just to stop it from coming over and then, because I need a good, you know, a good layer of resin over the top of this. So, let's do that. Don't ever stop. Don't look over your shoulder. Don't ever look back. Two days later. Woo! I think we're ready to pull this out. Right, now this is dried overnight. It's a few little bubbles, but you know, we're obviously gonna sand this back anyway. Now I'm not expecting this to be perfect at any means, but <laughs> you know, because I think I've got to think I'm gonna have a little bit of a problem up here, but I've got an idea how to solve it, but let's see what happens when we pull this bad boy out. Chopped off me nubbin. So this is where we've got so far, and I've basically nibbed off me nubbin there. <laughs> so there should be a little kind of, as you can see, little little nibble there, and that's kind of just broken off when I was sanding. Bit of a pain, um, but. I'm probably gonna try and tape this up a little bit and just put a little tiny bit of resin in there. So it's looking pretty cool, pretty, pretty cool. I like it, I'm liking it. Um, this is down now to 400 grit. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use some Abalone pads on this, then some micro mesh, and then polish. <laughs> but this has taken me so long so far. I can't begin to tell you how many issues I've had. Lots. Um, hence why I haven't put a video out for a few weeks because this one, this baby, was supposed to be coming at you last week and the week before. <laughs> but I've had a few issues where I tried to sort of pour some resin as you saw um, and then there wasn't enough so I had to pour some more and then it wasn't dry enough so I couldn't sand it so I had to leave it longer. Um, just a numerous kind of barrage of, of issues. But we've got to this stage now, I'm sort of, well, I'm, I don't know, three or four weeks in, because I started this way before the other project that I was doing. So we're about four or five weeks in now. Um, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping to get this one out to you soon. And if you like this video, please share it because it would really help me out. So anyway, I digressed again. Let's amble on this guitar.
Oh, look at this, Billy Ray. Right, I got my nib back. It's not perfect, but what nibs are. Rock and roll! We made it! It only took me like four weeks. 
Well, thank you, or should I say, sorry uh, for not putting a project up uh, over the last few weeks. Uh, this one has, it's just taken me, <laughs> it's just taken me a while longer than I kind of anticipated. The, the, the first obviously kind of like me putting the DVDs and CDs on that didn't work and obviously you only saw like a little snippet of that but that actually took me, took me hours, hours, days um, to get it off, uh, <laughs> put it on and get it off. Um, you know, uh, so cleaning it all up again, ready for the next kind of like plan B. Always need a plan B. Know what I'm saying. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it was interesting. I kind of, I say I got this kind of idea of using the, the CDs and DVDs from The Positive Couple, so please check them out. They do uh, amazing projects, as you probably already know. Um, so I kind of looked, I watched, watched one of their projects, and I thought, wow, look at this, this looks amazing. I think that would look cool in a project that I could do, but what could I do? And I thought, well, oh, what about a DVD guitar? obviously. So there it is. I hope you like it folks. Uh, before you go, if you could share this video, that would be absolutely amazing. It would really help me out in the channel to get kind of a bit further along to that one million. One million. Subscribers that I'm kind of aiming for. So I hope that this project was worthy of a like, a share and a comment. It's definitely not perfect. There's loads of flaws in it, <laughs> but it's handmade. Know what I'm saying? You'll notice that I've got a new banner on my YouTube uh, channel station thing and a new logo. Kind of just been playing around with things, sort of trying to get something different out there. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. I just wanted it to change. And I think this one looks a little bit better. Know what I'm saying? Now I also just want to quick mention as well to our latest sponsor for Maker Central, Gorilla Glue. Ugh. That kind of wasn't really a good impression of a gorilla. But the good thing is Gorilla Glue are, <laughs> are, are Maker Central's latest uh, main sponsor for the 2022 show. So if you don't know about Maker Central, head on over, have a look, check out the links below, and I'd love to meet some of you folks there. I also want to mention I've just opened up my channel memberships as well. So if you fancy supporting me on here, um, I am going to be sort of migrating or kind of like moving over my Patreons. Thank you so much, my Patreons. Uh, moving over my Patreons over to channel memberships because I think the memberships is, uh, you'll get much more out of me by me being on YouTube uh, rather than Patreon. I love all the support I get from Patreon, but I appreciate I don't really do much on there um, and it's just kind of you to just support me anyway but uh, I've decided to sort of like close that down or not close it down but get the people and the supporters from Patreon over to uh, YouTube channel memberships and that way I can give you actual real perks uh, which would be quite cool and one of them is I'm going to be doing or starting to do live streams one a month just a bit of a waffle, catch up, have a bit of a you know chat with you folks out there. I think that maybe some of you, not all of you, because most of you have left now, <laughs> some of you might enjoy that more. So check out my channel memberships and if you fancy supporting me, happy days. Know what I'm saying? Well, that's it folks. Uh, thanks to all my sponsors uh, for this video and I really appreciate all the support that everyone gives me and I really do appreciate everyone watching uh, these videos that I put out. Sorry that they've taken so long, but thank you for your support and your continued support throughout the whole of my YouTube journey so far. But honestly folks, sharing the video really does help me out and obviously if you want to follow me on my other platforms like, like Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, uh, I do put up some bits and pieces on there as well now and again. I am also on TikTok and I do put some strange things on there. So if you don't like strange, don't go over there. Well, that's it for this one, folks. Take care, thanks for watching, stay safe, and hopefully you won't have to wait too long for the next project. <laughs>